took the boat across from the shore of this old world, but he also started to teach children to become master boatmen and benefit their own brothers and sisters. In one of Baba's last few letters to all his serviceable children, Baba mentioned that there are some topics of this spiritual knowledge which creates upheaval in the mind of many souls. Such topics are Who is the true sermonizer of the knowledge of Gita? Does God reside? in the supreme abode or is he omnipresent does god descend in every age or just at the end of the cycle are the mind and intellect part of the soul or the body is the belief the soul is the supreme soul true or the soul and the supreme soul are completely separate. Baba asked everyone to turn on these topics and become fearless while explaining them to others in a yukti yukt way. Baba always said that no soul should come to us and say that we never received an invitation to this God's Yakya. This was a time of December 1968. There was a very elevated and silent atmosphere in Madhuban. At the time, there were only few brothers and sisters staying in Madhuban. Baba was looking after the construction of Teachers Training Center in the northwest direction of Pandav Bhavan. Baba used to name each building in a way that he used to keep souls in godly intoxication. Baba named one of the buildings Hawaii Mahal. One of the other areas was named Indrabrast, the place of law and love. Baba had sent Didi Manmohini to Delhi and he told her to tour all the different centers in India. On the other hand, Baba had called Dadi Prakashwani to stay in Madhuban from Mumbai. Let us listen to Dadiji's experience with Baba during those days. Dadiji says, in December 1968, I came to stay with Baba in Pandav Bhavan with a group of students from Mumbai. Since Didiji was going to Delhi, Baba requested me to stay back with him in Madhuban for a few more days. Baba 
taught me many things in those few days. For instance, while Baba was talking to other children, he would only say a few words and give solutions to all their problems. I also saw that while talking, Baba remained very detached. It felt as if Shiv Baba and Brahma Baba were now becoming one. In those few weeks, Baba taught me how to give an experience to new children, how to handle different activities of the yajna, how to keep an attention of each child stage, how to make sure that all of Baba's children are content with the yajna. I learned two special qualities from Baba during those days. I saw spiritual kindness and royal decency in Baba's way of living. Not only Baba taught me, but he also filled me with many blessings. One day, Baba and I were sitting and having a spiritual chit-chat. Baba looked at me lovingly and asked, Kumarika, if Baba decides to go away, do you think you're ready to take care of this yajna on your own? I instantly replied, Hanji Baba, why not? Hearing those two words, I saw Baba smile with contentment. I thought, Baba was testing me with this question. But according to drama, Baba was truly preparing me for the new chapter of this yajna. Baba held so much faith in me. Many times he would tell me, this child is my number one child. She is very obedient to Baba. She is a completely pure Kumari. She is my big river. also had lot of love for Baba. I always had the aim of taking every step according to Baba Srimat. I would never hide anything from Baba. I had this constant zeal and enthusiasm that I am Baba's ignited lamp of hope. Barambar Kare